my beautiful people. <laughs> Happy Monday. Hello, Ziggy. It is about half past ten at night. I've done no vlogging today. I apologise profusely. I just thought I would come on and say happy Monday. I've had a really lazy day after such a busy weekend. My first day of my holiday has been spent napping and basically catching up on sleep. So there we are. Um, this week's vlog is going to have hopefully a lot of reading in it. I want to finish Punk 57 this week and I want to read some other bits and pieces I haven't really decided yet. We're just going to have to wait and see what I'm in the mood for. I am in the mood for some smut, however, because I've not done that for a while. And reading Punk 57, I'm kind of a bit like, hmm. So I was planning on doing November as Kindle Unlimited only reading. So we will wait and see if that is what transpires. I am just away to make a cup of tea and watch some Below Deck in bed. And then tomorrow I want to do some rearranging around the house. So I will take you guys with me when I am doing that. But just wanted to check in and say hello. I am in the middle of reading the Dirt audiobook, the Motley Crue book, The Dirt. I've read it before, but I've not read it audiobook wise. I read it physically like years and years ago. So I'm probably going to get that finished this weekend as well, uh, this weekend, this week, because I have so much tidying and like decorating and stuff in the house to do and listening to an audiobook, that is like the perfect time to do it. So yeah, this is Monday and I will check in with you guys in the morning when I get up. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's 10 to 12 and I am currently just away to get NASA into his pet carrier because NASA needs to go to the vet because there's something wrong with NASA. I don't know what it is that's wrong with him but he's got a really upset stomach. He's not wanting to be stroked. He's not wanting to be petted. He's eating and drinking but he's throwing up a lot as well. So I've got like an emergency appointment to the vet so I'm just away to get him taken there. I obviously don't know what's wrong with him and I'm not sure how or if the vlog is going to continue depending on what is wrong with him um but I just thought I'd come on and film this clip in case everything is a-okay because I, I really hope that future Katie can say that everything's a-okay um but I I just really worry worry about him so um I'll let you guys know Hello my beautiful people. <laughs> I apologise about earlier. Some time has passed. NASA has been to the vet. It's now quarter past six. Uh, basically he's got neurovirus that humans get but he's got cat form. So we've got lots of tablets. He got anti-sickness injection. He got a poor little thermometer up his bum. Um, he did very well. He was very brave. He seems to have perked up a little bit now. It was just really difficult this morning because he was just not taking me on. He wasn't wanting any like strokes, nothing. And NASA's like the cuddliest cat. So I was just, I went into like panic mode. But I'm not going to really talk about it anymore because I just get upset and then a flap. So you're all here for reading. So what am I reading? Well, Punk 57 I'm currently reading. I've decided that in November, I'm just going to read Smut unless I feel otherwise inclined. Did I order the Mindfuck series and it's getting delivered on Thursday? Yes, I did. Have I heard it's really badly written? Yes, I have. But I've also heard it's tremendously smutty, hence why I've ordered it. It was £18. So expensive. But I am one of those people that when it has been independently published and you can get it on Kindle Unlimited, I'll buy it in paperback because I'm a sucker like that. So I treated myself to that. But um, yeah, Punk 57. Where am I? I'm on a pa about page 88, 89. I was reading it on my Kindle in the car on Sunday. So I think that's roughly where I am. I have a good chunk still to go. Daniel is coming over this evening and I'm making dinner and I have a little bit of time until he comes over so I'm going to delve into Punk 57 for a little bit and tomorrow 
I have a lot of parcels coming. I have new bookcases coming. No longer will there be the cube bookcases, the bookcases that do not display books properly. You can't put a whole series together. As beautiful as the cubes look, they are not functional for a book person, as far as I'm concerned. So they are gonna be gone. There is four new bookcases coming uh, tomorrow. And I'm very excited. I'm gonna ask Daniel really nicely if he'll help me build them. But I have ordered myself a drill that is coming tomorrow because a drill is not something I have and I need to be able to put shit together in my house. And I need to be an independent woman and not rely on people to build things because I'm shit at building. So I've got new bookcases coming. I've got paint coming because I'm painting my bedroom. I have some damp problems because it's a really old house that I bought and basically it needs treatment so I've got all that stuff coming and then I'm actually painting my bedroom my bedroom's currently like like a lavendery kind of color on the walls and then a really weird obscure orangey pink color on one wall now it's meant to be like copper blush or something it's called I thought it was going to be like really rose goldy it's not it's disgusting I hate it I've went with a forest green color my bedroom is going forest green I'm very excited. I'm doing the main wall forest green. I've got um, a bedside table for Daniel's side of the bed that I've had ordered for ages before Daniel was even a thing. <laughs> um, so he's going to help me build that so he'll have his own little bedside table. And yeah, I am just going to be focusing on getting little bits done around the house. The only annoying thing is the damp proof stuff doesn't come till Friday. So that kind of puts like a spanner in the works until then which is a little bit annoying but there is other stuff that I can do like the bookcases for example so I can get this room sorted um which I'm very excited about because this is a room where I just dump all my shit and I need to stop doing that and it needs to be organized and I just want to come in here and feel good about coming in here instead of coming in here and thinking what the hell's going on but yeah that is an update of what's going on NASA is okay NASA is going to be okay if he doesn't improve in the next couple of days he will have to go to hospital and have drips and things um which I really hope does not happen that is like worst case scenario so I'm really hoping that the medicine and things that he's got and the injections that he had today will help with what he has so we will just have to wait and see but I will keep you guys you guys updated but this was quite a long update so I'm going to go now and get some of this reading done and have a cup of tea because I'm so thirsty and I will check in with you guys in a bit. Hello my beautiful people, happy Wednesday. It is ten past four and I have not done any form of vlogging. I'm on holiday and you would think I would have more time to vlog but apparently not. Uh, the weather is absolutely horrific outside, there's like weather warnings and everything. It's so windy, it's so stormy, it's gross. Uh, update on NASA pants. NASA is doing a little bit better today. He's a bit more lively. Um, he's still crying because he's got an upset tummy. But apart from that, he seems to be doing all right. He, this morning, however, was not interested in eating his medicine. So I need to be a bit more creative with that this evening for his supper <laughs> to try and hide it in there. I think I'm going to use cat yogurt. I'm not sure. I don't know if that'll make his belly worse. But I need to do something because he's not taking it. And he needs to take it to get better. So, yes, just a small update on Asa Pants. Um, I had a delivery today. A little cheeky little book came in the post. I got Saga Volume 10. Absolutely love Saga. Love the series. I just have this one to catch up on and then I will be up to date. Uh, love Saga. So good. If you are looking for a graphic novel series that is a bit like a sci-fi space drama and is really weird and really obscure and has really weird sexual stuff in it, then Saga is for you. Uh, there's currently 10 volumes out and I've read up to volume 9 and just have 10 left. So treat myself to that. I am going to take Daniel's this evening. We're going to have dinner and stuff together. We're going to go do some food shopping. So when it comes to vlogging, probably there's not going to be any more for today. But tomorrow I start doing little bits and pieces in the house. I am doing decorating. I've got new bookshelves coming. They were meant to be coming today, but unfortunately they've been delayed. But I have got lots of painting to do. I've got plastering to do. 
and hopefully there will be more content for you guys to see because I've just been sitting on my bum watching Bolo Deck curled up with NASA making sure that he's alright so yeah not read any more of Punk 57 either I might read a little bit of that tonight but I think I'm planning on playing the Switch so who knows just thought I'd check in this is Wednesday so far hello my beautiful people happy Thursday it is 10 to 1 and I got my Luma crate not long ago so I've just filmed that video I'm just waiting to get it edited and then uploaded and reading wise I have done nothing but I am in today waiting for all the paints and things because Daniel and I are doing lots of work in the house tomorrow and I don't I can't really like leave the house or go and do anything my bootcases are coming today that were meant to be here yesterday so I'm just kind of stuck and in my head I'm like I can just waste time and watch Below Deck all day like I did yesterday or I can read some Punk 57 so my plan is to make myself a cup of tea now and then read a chunk of Punk, Punk 57 because the delivery is coming between quarter past two excuse me and quarter past four so I'm gonna get some sprints on the tv get some reading done and then finally I can give you guys some reading updates because it's now Thursday and I've done no point on the reading front so Fingers crossed the next time I see you guys. I'll have read at least some pages. Hello my beautiful people. Some time has passed. I have a little check in with you because I have been reading. I'm now on page 138 of Punk 57 and there's been a little bit of smut and it's not been terrible. So I'm hoping that this section here is just all full of smut. But we're just going to have to wait and see. I had an Amazon delivery and inside the Amazon delivery there was a book so I treated myself to the Mindfuck series it's books one to five it's independently published you probably can't tell from the quality of this book but it's really not great uh, the print on it looks like it basically came out of a printer uh, obviously things come out printed things come out of printers but like at, at an at home printer that's what this looks like uh, I mean the back is slightly damaged which is incredibly sad but this is just very smutty from what I hear it's quite chunky but I mean it is five books in one it's 675 pages and it's 18 pounds on Amazon just now so it's a bit of a bougie purchase but I have heard Katie Colston talk about it on some of her reading sprints and I was like, do you know what? I need that in my life. And it's Smutty Month November. I am basically reading Smut for the majority of November. The only Smut that I'm not reading is going to be A Discovery of Witches, the second book, is it Shadow of Night? I'm going to be reading that in November because it's really long starting and I loved the first book, so... I want to continue with that but the rest of the month is just going to be utter filth now I am filming a video like a vlog type video of all the smutty books that I'm reading in November I don't think it's going to be spoilery I haven't quite decided yet because obviously I won't know until it's progressed but it's basically just going to go and tell you about smutty books that I've read their smut ratings um what the story was like, how the characters were, if it was just basically all about the smut, if the smut was shit. That's what I'm here for and that is going to go up at the beginning of December, I think, because I'm going to film it all the way through November. So look out for that if you're intrigued by that. But yes, I am going to continue sitting reading Punk 57 because I'm still waiting for my bookshelves. They're coming between 4.51 and 5.51. It is now 3.43. So I could get a good chunk of this read. I've already read about 50 odd pages and I've not been sitting here reading for that long so fingers crossed I can get a bit more of this read and then I need to go do my food shopping and see Daniel. So yeah. Hello little one. What is it? Hmm? What is it? You're getting so big. You're such a souk. Am I going to be allowed to read my book? Hmm? But everyone wants me to read my book. 
You don't care, do you? No. You don't care. <laughs> Love you. Right, I'm gonna try and read point fifty seven. Ziggy. <laughs> no reading for me. Hello, friend. How are you feeling? You feeling better now, Spence? Mm -hmm. You're still not yourself. Is he being annoying? Are you just watching him? Nessa. Nessa. I love you so much. I just want you to feel better. You're gonna start to feel better soon, please. It would help if you took your medicine, buddy. How are you doing, last pants? Mm -hmm. You worry me so much, little one. So much. I just want you to get better. Got eye gunk as well. You're just so sleepy. I love you so much. Hello, little one. Hello. You sound so congested. Hmm. You're gonna get better soon. You need to take your medicine to get better. Mm. You're so beautiful. You're my OG. Thanks. You always have to be the center of attention, do you? You're going to get better soon. You're going to take your medicine. They're beautiful. Hello, my beautiful people. Happy Friday. We're actually almost into Saturday. It is 5 to 11 at night. Am I still awake? Yes, I am. Uh, I've had a super busy day. Daniel and I have been doing a lot of stuff around the house. I was going to film some of it, but I just decided, you know what? My hands are covered in plaster. There's just so much going on that I just don't want to whip my phone out. So I didn't. I think there's a small clip of NASA and that's about it. Uh, NASA update. He is looking so lively and so healthy today. And I think he is over the worst of it, which is the best kind of news. Um, reading update wise, I haven't done any reading today, but I did do a chunk yesterday. So... I'm maybe halfway through, I'm on page 160 of Punk 57 and the smut level is pretty good actually. It's a very, I don't know, you really do want to keep reading and devour this and like figure out what's going on and who's gonna bone who <laughs> in theory. So yeah, I am going to my mum's tomorrow with Daniel because it was my stepdad's birthday on the third which was yesterday but when you're watching this it was ages ago um so we are going down to like different presents and stuff so i am probably going to try and read a little bit of this in the car i'll just have to wait and see because daniel and i are really chatty and i don't generally read in the car we just sort of chat and sing songs so hopefully i'll get a little bit read but we'll just have to wait and see um i have a little haul for you guys so i was in tesco today doing a little food shop don't usually go to tesco usually go to aldi now but tesco was where we went and i picked up the secrets of dumbledore it's not really something that i really had any desire to read but daniel said it was really good and i should pick it up and it is worth 
it is worth a reread. But I haven't read the other Fantastic Beasts. Does that matter? I've not even seen the movies. I think I've seen the first movie and I wasn't a massive fan. Can you just let me know if you've got this far and you know the answer? Is it worth reading this? I feel like there's some parts of the story that I really need to know. So I picked up that. And then I also picked up this. There's a theme. <laughs> Um, the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the illustrated edition, the big hardcover. I think this was only £18, so I thought, do you know what? That's a steal. And what's hilarious is I only own the first one, the Philosopher's Stone, in light paperback. So why am I collecting hardbacks now, you ask? Who knows? But I've got new bookshelves and I'm going to be able to display all my book CDs together, like my Harry Potters and like my Sarah J Maas. And it's going to be beautiful. And... Uh, I just thought, you know what, I want that, so I'm going to buy it. <laughs> that was just kind of how it was. And then I thought I was going to do, sorry, I'm just getting a cup of tea because I'm really thirsty. I don't know who I am being up at this time of night. It's just because we've been busy, so. Mm. I got two little blind bag type things so i've got a mystery harry potter one which has like these characters on it i have a feeling that i either have luna or hermione and deep down inside i really want it to be luna so this is i i couldn't tell you how much it was it just kind of went in the trolley and then i've never seen these before it's like a timber um um, mystery blind box pin so they look like stamps basically I don't think you're gonna be able to see that anyway they look like stamps so I thought I would just open them with you guys on this fine Friday evening almost Saturday what hour left of the day so I'm gonna do this and then I'm basically gonna get myself into bed oh I never said what one I wanted to this I want Jack and Sally, this one, or I want Zero. That's what I want. I very rarely do things like this, but I just thought, why not? What is it? It's Zero! Oh, this is quite big. That's really cute. It says Play, de play Dead on it. Oh, I'm well chuffed. I never get ones that I really want. Oh, that's cool. It's so big. It's a really nice, well-made little pin. I think this little um, mystery pin bag was £6 in Tesco. But, I mean, it's a good pin size. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm allergic to that. So, let's hope that this is Luna. Fingers crossed. Oh. It's Snape. <laughs> that was not what I expected. That was open so quickly as well. I feel like I disappointed you. Um, I love Snape. So that's absolutely fine. He's really cute. I might put him on my keys. I really quite like him. I might need to get another one of these because I really want Luna. And Dumbledore. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. I don't know what that's about. No idea. But anyways, I thought I would... Um, share these little these little treats with you guys um i am basically a way to finish this cup of tea and go to bed because i am super tired and i feel like i'm getting a cold which is not great so i just wanted to check in because friday is not really do nothing it's just been a day of busyness um we've like plastered the wall in the hallway Took off my bedroom door because I never have my bedroom door closed because the cats are always on my bed. And the bed was kind of like up against the door and it was just a whole thing. And now it's away and it feels like a whole new room. It's really bizarre. And what else do we do today? Plastering in the hallway. Um, Daniel built the bedside table for his side of the bed. Like when he stays over. So yeah, it's been semi-productive. And then on Sunday, we've got bookshelves to build. I've got some damp proof paint to do. And then I've got some actual painting to do. So 
it's lots of little bits and pieces. Um, I will try and film some of it. It just depends. It just depends. But this has been quite a long update, so I'm going to say goodnight because I think it's time for bed for me. Good morning, my beautiful people. Happy Saturday. I have had a busy morning so far. It is quarter past 11 and I am in the process of turning my bedroom, not this one, that is coming, my bedroom that I sleep in upside down because I have a ridiculous amount of clothes and to be perfectly honest, a lot of them don't fit me. I used to be like a size six and a size eight and I am no longer those sizes and why I'm holding on to those clothes I do not know but today I was just ruthless with them and so far five bags of clothes <laughs> have been taken out of that bedroom and to be perfectly honest I'm going to show you guys what the bedroom looks like as well and it doesn't even look like five bags have been taken out which makes me feel physically sick because I'm not even close to being done. I am going to see my mum today because it was my stepdad's birthday so Daniel's coming over in a little bit so I want to try and get that room like semi-presentable because we're both sleeping in it tonight but when I show you the bedroom you're gonna see that there is gonna be no sleeping in that room until I sort it out so for the next like hour and a half I am just gonna plow through that bedroom and continue to get it sorted there is no bedroom door anymore I had a bedroom door on it I can't remember if I told you guys or not but basically the bed was up against the door. I always have it open so that the cats can come in and out. So I just thought, Do you know what, fuck it, let's just take the door off. So we took the door off and because the, that door has probably been on since 1930 <laughs> um, when the house was built, it had to, like, it had been painted so much, like on the hinges and everything, and we just couldn't get them out with the electronic, like, drill. So Daniel suggested that I just kick the door off. And I put my Doc Martens on and job done. The door was kicked off. So the door is vamoosh. And do you know something? I was on a video chat with Danny this morning and she couldn't figure out where I was because she was like, where are you? It's like, I'm in my bedroom, but I don't have a door anymore. It's so weird how different the bedroom looks like without a door. So uh, it just feels like a whole new room. I just need to sort out because it looks like utter shit right now. So I am going to show you guys the magnitude of how fucking awful it looks sorry for all the swearing but oh my goodness it looks atrocious and i'm actually so ashamed of myself that i've held on to so many clothes and like belongings like i'm getting to the stage of my life i'm like i have a lot of stuff and it's getting to the stage that i'm really overwhelmed like i said this to danny after Bowie passed away i was like i just have too much stuff i need to start getting rid of it and i think at the time even I didn't realise that it wasn't kind of like it could have just been my mentality at that moment in time because I was grieving and I was very sad. But I've kind of kept the same mentality. I do have too much stuff and I need to start downsizing because it's just ridiculous. Nobody needs that much stuff. What if I die? Some poor person is going to have to come and empty this house and I don't want that to fall on someone. So... Yes, I'm going to take you guys through to the bedroom and show you the monstrosity that it currently is and then hopefully in an hour and a half I will show you that it doesn't look like that anymore. My biggest fear is spiders because my skirting boards aren't attached to the walls. <laughs> They've not been attached to the walls the whole time I've lived here. They're placed up against the wall but you can get spiders and uh, not like millions of them but like you get like the occasional big one and I'm just scared that there's one hiding in it. Well, I know... There's going to definitely be one hiding in there and I'm terrified because I'm going to see it and I'm, oh, no. So yeah, I, I'm going to take you through and show you the monstrosity that I am dealing with this Saturday morning. But do you know something? The only person I've got to blame is myself. So let's go. So this is the room currently totally upside down. <laughs> I have emptied all of these units of clothes that I don't wear. I've emptied all of this unit. My clothes situation here doesn't even look like anything's been taken off. Uh, the boys are adapting, so basically they just sleep in amongst the things. <laughs> I've got damp on that side of the wall, which are going to get fixed as well. My blind is fucked with damp too. But yeah, this is kind of what I'm dealing with. And I really want it to not look like this anymore, so I'm going to get cracking. Also... 
there is no door. The door is here in the hallway. But, um, excuse me, no door. It is gone and it just makes this room look bigger for some reason. We don't even look semi better yet. NASA's just like, I will sleep here. I have a cubby hole that has been hidden for quite some time <laughs> in my bedroom. And yeah, this is just hey gonna <laughs> absolute chaos, so I need to get it sorted. But the worst part is this is all going to the tip. <laughs> oh my god, I am so overwhelmed. How did I end up with this much stuff? And how does my room still look that way? even after this much has been removed. What? Hello my beautiful people, happy Sunday. This wall is a way to go forest green. My damp bits on the wall are a way to be damp proofed along with my skirt and boards. And I'm gonna try and do some time lapses. No, it's not reading related, but it is house related. And this is some of the stuff that I have to deal with. I have positioned the old bedroom door there. I just dropped it to the ground and accidentally scratched the floor in the hallway, which it's really bloody annoying, but it is what it is. But yes, I'm away to get cracking because it is currently 10 to three and I want to be stopped and finished everything by six. So, fingers crossed, let's do it. people this is what we're working with why look at the mess <laughs> i've got all the damp proof paint up kind of over here tell me you've been painting without tell me you've been painting got it down here and stuff as well this wall is being repainted so i didn't really care about this or the roof but this is going to need another coat it actually matches my nail polish but yeah, it needs another coat. But this is my work for the day. It sounds really echoey in here. And I think it's just because there's just so much left stuff. Hey, Gunner. You beautiful. Hey, Ziggy. I've got my fit sheet currently in the wash. Um, because it's got paint on it. Um, So that's why there's not a fit sheet on there. But I do have these new tartan bed sheets for um, winter time. So, yeah, they look weird this way. Oh, and I currently, because I've been painting and doing stuff around the house, uh, currently got McDonald's on the way because I'm not cooking. <laughs> it's just not happening. So, yeah, it's been a really busy, busy couple of days. And I feel like it's been... <laughs> A little bit productive for my holiday now i just felt like it was a bit wasted at the beginning but i was so busy worrying about nasa and i just didn't want to leave the house or do any of the things because i didn't want to upset him but he is currently sitting munching away on his dinner and he is feeling a lot better which is amazing but i'm back to the office tomorrow my holiday is over i had great plans to do all this reading and I didn't do it. I will update you guys on where I am on Punk 57, but definitely not finished it. But I am really enjoying it. But I will pop back in a bit because my McDonald's is not too far and I want to just devour that and then have a shower because I'm absolutely covered in paint. <laughs> it's literally everywhere. So I really need to get that done. Then I get a chill for the evening. Might read my book might pick up Punk 57 or I might watch Below Deck. Who knows? But I'm definitely going to my bed early, I know that much. I'll be in bed by half past nine. <laughs> Good Sunday evening, my beautiful people. It is half past seven. I was going to come on and show you guys. I picked up a book when I was in Asda yesterday. I picked up the Kate Bush book, Running Up That Hill, but I actually have no idea where it is. <laughs> so just imagine me holding a book and saying I'm excited to read it because I love Kate Bush before Stranger Things running up that hill. Um, I'm going to close off the vlog because I'll wait to have a shower. I'm still covered in paint. Really need to have a shower. 
I've just sorted the bed and everything so it's ready to basically roll into once I've had a shower. Um, but I just wanted to close off and say what reading I've done this week and how little I've done and I'm very sorry for that. But hopefully next week it should be a little bit more settled and I'm back to work tomorrow as well so I can fit in some reading time before I start my work day. So I am ending the week on page 160 of Punk 57. I'm really enjoying it. It's sitting at a strong four star for me just now. I'm about halfway through. Uh, the smut level is really good. It was what I was expecting. Sometimes when people say it's smutty, you read it and it's kind of vanilla. But um, I wouldn't really say this is vanilla. So it's kind of it's a bully romance so if that is something that you're not into then you will probably hate punk 57 but i've never really read a bully romance that i'm aware of but i don't hate the vibes so thoroughly enjoying that so tomorrow i am going into work at seven o'clock that means i've got a good reading hour to get done uh, and get some of it some of it read because this book is very smutty i am actually going to continue this on my kindle <laughs> Also, I'm trying to make sure that I don't have really heavy backpacks because I'm getting really bad pain in my chest and in my back with like problems that I have due to the weight of my backpack because I need to carry like a work laptop and everything. So I don't want to add additional weight to it. So I'm going to start bringing my Kindle with me. But guess what? In November, I did plan on reading like all the Kindle Unlimited smut. So that's fine. I am meant to be starting a Discovery of Witches tomorrow as well. Well, not a Discovery of Witches, but Shadow of Night. We are just going to wait and see how that goes. I haven't even sectioned that off yet. So one step at a time, we will just see. It would probably be nice to have something to break up the smut, but to be perfectly honest, who needs the smut to be broken up? Who knows? But anyway, this week I've done a lot of stuff around the house. Poor Nasa Pants has been really unwell, but he seems to have recovered and is on his way to being back to himself. And I've read a little bit. <laughs> that is kind of it. And I've been on holiday. So, yeah. I am going to say goodbye now. But thank you very much for all watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you've all had a lovely weekend if you're watching this when it comes out. And I will see you all next time. Same time, same place. Bye. <laughs>